Right guys, how you doing? So, a vlog number three. God, aren't you lucky, eh? All these vlogs I'm doing, video logs. Okay, so I'm off out with Kev Case today. We're going to see my friend Tris. I'm wearing my uh, new jacket. I'm quite chuffed about. So let's just take a look what's out there. I mean, that's what we're, that's what we're dealing with. A little bit of snow, but it seems England goes on a shutdown when there's a little bit of snow. Um, so, I'm just waiting for my mate Kev Case to turn up. Um, you may have noticed that the Titans are up there now. That's because my cat has decided to keep jumping up onto the mantelpiece and as it comes down, it lands on the Titan and smashes it. It's the second time it's happened. So I'm not very impressed. So I've put it up really high now and uh, I've moved everything around so it can't get up there. Um, man, it's like a virtual blizzard out there. It's not like a virtual blizzard. All this enough stuff on the news where they're saying, it's gonna be a blizzard, snow warnings, be careful. You know, if you're driving, take water and blankets and food with you and all that sort of stuff. It's not been like that at all. Uh, what I've been up to, oh, this is quite cool. Just started washing the body on that. I'm doing a video on it at the moment, so so you'll be able to see it. Um, it's coming in quite nicely. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do a video dive off to see Tris Malone today, who's got a fantastic. Sorry about that. We're we'll off to see Tris Malone today. Uh, I pressed the wrong button. And, um, and we're going to go and catch up with him, see how he's doing, and uh, and uh, drop him off his Christmas presents, uh, which would be quite nice. I've also got to go to the post office at some point uh, to pick up a parcel that Orc Painter Nerd has sent me. Um, and, uh, and I meant to do it a couple of days ago, but I've just been so busy. Um, so... And I think I know what it is, uh, and I'm really excited about it. So anyway, so I'm going to chat with Kev. I thought today I'd chat with Kev on the way up there, and we just discuss general bits and pieces. Now, Kev's a really cool guy, um, uh, and along with Hayden, we're like the terrible trio. Uh, so it'd be great to sort of uh, to chat with him and get to you guys to get to know him better. Uh, so I'll see you guys in a minute. That's when he picks me up. So guys, here we are. I'm with Kev Case. Hi, guys. And uh, we're travelling up to Solihull, sorry if the car's a bit jerky, uh, because British winters uh, are very dangerous. They're known to be just like the Arctic winters, aren't they, Kev? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, and it's uh, so cold. And it's so cold. Uh, you know, I don't know what these Canadians, the Norwegians, the Swedish, and all those other people that live in cold areas complain about. They haven't been to England and had to endure the British weather. So let's just take a quick look at it, shall we? Look how bad that is out there, look. Look, look at the road. You could hardly drive down this road. It's that bad. Um, see, what we don't do is we're not prepared. Even though we give these massive warnings out and uh, they go on about, it's gonna be dangerous, it's gonna be really heavy snow and stuff like that. They don't actually do anything to grit the roads, which is quite funny. They actually do it uh, while it's really heavily snowed, don't they? Yeah. Uh, not a preempt it and do it afterwards. We should have been a pain in the backside. So we're up to Tris, going to see Tris today. Uh, unfortunately, our evil duo, or our evil sidekick Hayden isn't with us. Uh, he's got a young lady he's seeing today, um, who we met last night, which is quite nice. Uh, there's some there's some people off to do their shopping uh, in the snow. How brave are they? Poor man walking across the road. That's how exciting this video is gonna be <laughs> for you. So, so let's talk to Kev for a bit and find out what he's doing. So Kev. Oh dear. So, you're building your salamander army at the moment. I certainly am. So how far into that are you? Uh, about four and a half thousand points. Four and a half thousand points, that's good going. All Forge World. All Forge World as well, I've got to say a lot. I didn't of plan on this when I started a year and a half, two years ago. No, because we sort of said we'd just do Games Workshop stuff, but then Forge World released a lot of exciting things. A lot of nice things. Yeah, a lot of nice things. So, what models are you building at the moment? Because I know you've got a lot of stuff on your channel. Um, I've got a lot of stuff built. Uh, was it Sports Squad, Tactical Squad, uh, Two Terminator Squads, yep. Command Squad, got all that built. Got another Spartan to build. But most of it's just uh, needed to get painted now. That's right. So what are you painting though at the uh, moment? Painting at the moment, tactical squads, sports squads. A lot of them as well. Yeah. So I've got about 30, 40 troops to paint. That's two squads? Uh, that's one tactical, and then the Terminators, Devastators, 
And it's a, are the Terminators Cataphraki or? Cataphraki Terminator. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. All with like Thunder those. Hammers. All with Thunder Hammers. hammers. Two heavy flamers. So. Oh, that's not bad going. Oh, that's nice. not bad going. Oh, Close man. In this. So, obviously you've got, the job site, you've got the job site Massacre coming, uh, Massacre coming up, which oh, we're yeah. arranging. And that's going to have quite a few players in that, which is going to be very exciting. We've also got uh, Blake, who's joined us, and hopefully another guy. Um, um, it's the biggest game of the year, well, for the start of the year. Oh, definitely. Um, what are your hopes for that, Kev? Uh, and not are you deny. Gonna, and are you going to be targeting any individual? Um, uh, I can neither confirm nor deny any uh, <laughs> targeting plans. Because obviously you've got um, Chuffy on your side. Yes, I have. Um, and have you two discussed anything yet? Uh, I think we're both keeping each other pleasantly surprised when it comes to us. But you don't know what you're going to do, do you? <laughs> so Chuffy, if you're listening or watching this, you need to get a hold of Kev and discuss some tactics with the man. Um, because obviously we want the Salamander to do quite well. At least take yeah. down a few people here and there, which will be quite exciting. Yeah. Um, so... This year, well, going by last year, what was your most memorable moment uh, in the campaign? Uh, I can't remember which game it was, but for me, as a Salamander player, getting, I think it was one of my first games with the Eldar Avatars. I got down to like one wound with a Vulcan in like the second or third game <laughs> and took out the Avatar of Kane on his own. That was uh, and This was a super tough one. Uh, that was the super tough one, yeah. yeah Mr. Really Bensley. Mr. Yeah. Bensley. And I've got to say, Bensley, obviously, he plays MP or Fist as well. Um, he's seen the light. He, yeah, he's a very good tactical player, though, isn't he? Yeah, very good. I mean, when it comes down to knowing your units and stuff like that, the guy understands the Eldar brilliantly. Okay, so we're on the main road at the moment, uh, coming out of um, our hometown. So let's just have a little look at how pretty uh, Britain, Britain can be in the snow. And I've got to say, I much prefer Britain in the snow. I do. I love it when it snows in England. It's something magical about it. Uh, it creates this really beautiful look. And not only that, it's really good for taking photographs when you're doing snow bases and stuff like that. So you should, if you get the chance, take as many photographs of your environment as possible because it really helps you uh, when you need information or narrative to create on your bases. I mean, look at that. We have snow that flies upwards here. Uh, which you just missed. Um, <laughs> we don't have normal snow that comes down, it goes oh, no. up. Um, and here we go, look, oh, there we go, Milverton. Uh, and now our mission is to head up to Solihull. So they say it's going to snow again today. Have we got any safety stuff in the back of the car, like uh, ration packs or? No ration packs, but we've got a few bits and pieces. A few bits and pieces. We've got what? Uh, what we've got? Got some radios. Oh, that's pretty good. We can, at least we can talk to each other. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about blankets if it really does get heavy? Uh, nah. We haven't got any of those. Nah. Oh, dear. This is not we'll boding right. well. Yeah, we're going to be fine. So, the idea is, is uh, if it does snow really heavily, not to get trapped in it. Now, oh, Kev, are we going to talk about your background, what you used to do? Yeah, come on. Kev is uh, ex-RAF. I'm ex-Army. Uh, what I loved about when I met Kev is we both were stationed in Basra. Yeah, uh, which, was entertaining. which is entertaining, but we never ever met each other, uh, which is yeah, really it was funny. pretty much around about the It's the same time we were out there, yeah. uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so, Kev, tell us how did you get into that? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. Um, it was just something I wanted to do for a very long time. Yeah. Uh, left school, went out and did it. Yeah. So I was 15 when I decided. And how old do you know? Well, how, long, how many years were you in there? Uh, I was in there 12 and a half. 12 and a half years, man and boy, or boy yeah, and man. It certainly was. It's a boy soldier. A boy soldier, a bit like me, that's yeah, what I did. school at 16, joined up at 17. Yes. Yeah. So. Oh, that's pretty good going. That's pretty good going. And uh, and you've been all over the place, you've flown all over the world, haven't you? Yeah. Well, the worst parts of it. Yeah, the worst parts of it. Uh, but that's what I like about this hobby, is you meet a really ecliptic amount of different types of people from different walks of life. Um, and uh, I mean, old Tris, he's got some stories he can tell us as well, and I really, I really like. And all painter nerd, uh, all painter nerd, sorry, not Nord. Um, <laughs> all painter it's the nerd. Weather. It's, it's the, the weather. weather. Yeah, it's making my mouth go all the hell out. Um, he's got some fantastic stories, and it, and there's so many different people. I mean, and and that's what I like about this because you meet so many different people from different walks of life, and they all got stories to tell. And that's the exciting part about, I think, the community. Okay, so let's have a little look at how we're doing in the wilderness of Great Britain. 
Oh, look at that. More road. It's like a road movie, um, but not. Hi guys, so here we are. I'm here with Kev Case. There's Kev guys, Case. And in the mirror, you can see the big man himself. He's moved. Tris. Oh. How you doing, buddy? I'm not too bad. We we woke you up, didn't we? You did, yeah. I had a bit of a sleepless <laughs> night, but he's a nice surprise to wake up to. You know? <laughs> That's what he's saying, isn't oh. it? And he's making us a nice cup of tea at the moment. Oh, I am indeed. Uh, yeah. Which we're still waiting for, because it's so, so Yeah, go over there and make yeah. it. So, um, I forgot to bring your stuff, which is a bit of a numb-nups thing to do. Yeah, yeah, uh, I know, I know, uh, I know, which is not very clever, uh, but um, well, me not being very clever, uh, but we're going to send it over to you. I've got to say, this is a beautiful kitchen, guys. Just check this out. Just look at that kitchen. I mean, I've got to say, look, lovely plant there. This lovely little table. Uh, I like his pajama bottoms; are very nice. Uh, <laughs> look at that. And just have a look at the garden. Look at his garden. I wasn't looking at his bum. Uh, and there's there's his garden. Very nice. And that's, that's going to be your painting studio when it's all finished, isn't it? Using the and gaming room for a selected clientele. Yeah, so we can imagine uh, ourselves being here during the summer eating burgers, healthy burgers, of course, healthy not, burgers. not Tesco's horse burgers. <laughs> 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 Have you heard about that? No. Tesco's, you not know, heard about Tesco's horse burgers? Oh, there was horse. 35% horse. 35% horse. Okay. Fat. So what we're talking about is, is Tesco's... Uh, uh, were using horse meat in their burgers and weren't telling people about it, were they? And then uh, there was a big hoo-ha about it. A lot of people got the trots. Hey! Thank you very much. Um, I'm here all week. Yeah, I'm here all week. Uh, it, was a, it was a bit between the mouth, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> it was a bit in the mouth. Um, you and, uh, oh, yeah. oh, I no, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't. Uh, and the next one is, uh, it's a lot to saddle, be saddled with. Hey! There we go. Uh, so here we go. So. So Tris, well, tell us about your art studio. What's what are your visions for it? Um, to get just bigger, really, more professional, as in because I'm in a room at the moment that my daughter's is supposed to be in. Yeah. So it'd be nice to get in there, have all my equipment. So I can't have all my equipment out in in the. In the... No, <laughs> no, Kev, not get his equipment hey. out. Hey, <laughs> it's gonna be done. <laughs> He's gonna get it in there. So, We're talking about get your equipment, not as in your luggage. But get your uh, yeah. your painting studio in, set, set, set up in there, yeah. and, and just become a little bit more. I don't know, just more video updates, more photos, yeah. and things like that. Yeah. But um, I, I ordered a photo booth last night. Oh, is that the one that Malone, uh, which um, uh, Sean, Sean sent? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. sent it to me as well. Brilliant. Yeah, nice, and he, he's actually received it. And he's, is it's it good? Like, he's, it's fantastic. Yeah, I've got to get mine sorted so, out. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be doing stuff like that. Yeah, and just. I mean, the, the commissions are coming through, you know yeah. what I mean? You can always do more, though. Always well, do you're more. doing two commissions for me at the moment. Yeah, um, and I'm doing Space Wars for Mr. Jackson. Yeah. Uh, I had a Storm Eagle come through last night as well. Did you? Yeah, uh, an Angron. Ooh. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's busy, and I'm looking forward to painting them. Yeah. I really am. Yeah. And some Lamentous stuff for Brother Tears as and, well. And, oh, yeah, yeah, Brother Tears, because I've seen the Lamentous stuff, and it is special. Because you had it up on your Facebook page, didn't you? Yes, I did, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. If you hear that creaking, that's that's me, <laughs> uh, not the chair. Um, because when you get to my age, uh, 40 yeah. plus, you start to creak a lot. It's Brian's hips. Yes, yeah, my hips are going to go. Um, so, um, what will you say will be, what has been the highlight for you so far since moving into your new profession? I think, for me, um, there, there's two things really, the freedom to do whatever I wish, whenever I want, yep. you know, not be, you know, I've, I've said that enough, you know, being affiliated to one thing, you know, I'm my own person now and I do, I do as I please, so that's nice. And the other one is the friendships I made, you know, I met some fantastic guys, you know, and I'm meeting more and more fantastic guys for the commissions yeah. that I do, you know. Yeah. I've become obviously a lot closer with, you know, Sean, yourself, yeah. You know, Chuffy, hopefully Kev when the video's off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As I say, already had the hug. Yeah, well, <laughs> he's had a big hug for me. I've got to say, he had a big hug. I was getting worried when he said, I'm you know, meeting more guys. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no. Or girls, yeah. Or girls, or yeah. Sorry, yeah. Do you know what? I, I don't think there's enough girls in the gaming no. community, or, or they're not making themselves known. Because every, every time I go into it, really, is it? Peter. Yeah. 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 So. yeah, no, but there isn't well, enough girls in the game. When I go into GWs, there's always at least one or two girls in yes. there, but you never see them like making videos or putting up content. No. So no. they are out there. But I've only met I've only met two girls uh 
in our local Hannah and yeah. uh, Patty that actually play 40k or actually do paint and stuff like that. Oh, Harlequin Han. Yeah. Harlequin oh, Han, yeah, yeah. fantastic got, painter. Have paint. you seen her model making skills? A very good, yeah. I saw the sisters, yeah. a battle, that kind of, I don't know what it's called, the rhino conversion. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. fantastic. Emperor's Gift. Oh, uh, well, yeah, the flying yeah. rhino. Flying rhino. <laughs> <laughs> flying rhino. <laughs> Come on down and see our flying rhino. Um, but uh, no, her, she's a fantastic model mm. maker. And uh, she's one of these girls, or one of these people, I should say, that actually takes time and effort and puts, well, puts a lot of time and effort into her modeling skills, which is really nice. Yeah. Um, so what about, what else is happening? What else have you got planned? Uh, still obviously a part of the Great Crusade. Oh yes, you know, so Drop Site Massacre Drop March. Drop Site Massacre March, so I'm really looking forward We've got to Blake joining you as well, and you've got Jamie, little Jamie. Yeah. Jamie Cross, who only rolls ones. <laughs> That's going to help you. You can start down that end of the board. I've got this side covered. <laughs> you can imagine that. You know what's going to go wrong, don't I've you? I've never known anybody help the enemy so much in my entire life. I was like, you brilliant. know, you can shoot that. I'm just like, Jamie, please. Please, you're on my side. <laughs> don't yeah. kill me. No, I like Jamie. He's funny because he's... he's, he's uh, I like the fact that he... We give him a lot of stick. Do you know what I mean? For rolling ones. And whenever we introduce him, it's always Jamie, Mr. W Mr. One. Do you know what I mean? I roll once, you know. So, but uh, no, he's he's going to be he's gonna be there along with quite a few others. I think we've got like... It's the way he rolls, really, isn't it? It is the way he rolls. rolls. Yeah. Uh, we've got like about 20, 30 people there. I don't know, something like that. It's going to be a big one. We are, we are pretty much taking over the whole gaming club in Remington, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We are. Um, and you're going to come down to Grumpy Old War Gamers. Yes. And be there for to give advice on painting and stuff like that. Yeah. Have you got any tutorials planned? Um, do you know what? I was speaking about this to uh, All Painter Nerd, and I think yes. I think yes, yes, I am going to. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, yeah. because it's something that nobody's really tackled. Cool. Or they probably have, but you know. You haven't seen it. We haven't yeah. seen it yet. So I'm, I'm definitely going to. Uh, like I say, you invested in a new camera and stuff yeah. like that, so it's time to start using it. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping that you're going to be doing your gold technique. Oh God! Painting gold, but I forgot what it's called. But he actually paints gold by using other colours. Non-metallic. Non-metallic. Uh, oh, non-metallic. Yeah, he doesn't. It doesn't. I think I it's amazing. Know. I've got to say, I was absolutely amazed by it. Just if you're wondering what that little farting noise is, <laughs> it's these two down here. Uh, that one keeps snoring. That one keeps letting it go. Uh, just so you know. And one of them is death. And one of them is death as well, yeah. And, and it has the longest tongue in the animal world. Uh, if we can get a video of that later, I'll show you how long. Seriously, She's I mean, special. I'm not kidding. When I say this tongue is long, it is incredibly long, Kev. Very. Yeah. Very long. Yeah. It's very, Gene very long. Simmons of dogs. It's, it's the Gene Simmons oh, that's, of dogs. That's, that's brilliant, good. yeah. I like that. What was the character in Kiss that you played? What was the name? Demon? Was, was it something? Demon? Yeah. I don't know. Answers on I the postcard. I think post it was the basis for... Yes. Okay. Yeah. No, Gene Simmons was. I thought he was the singer. No. no, no. Yeah, bassist. Was he yeah. bassist? Oh, okay. I see. Corrected. I've, I've got to say, I'm old, and uh, my memory's not as good as it used to be. I'm, old I, my time. I'm not far behind you. So. Yeah, yeah, you're not far behind me. Uh, if you can see, there we go. So look, we can actually get a freeway going. Hey. Oh, yeah, a freeway going? <laughs> no, we oh can't. Oh my god! Uh, um, I'm in the middle. Yeah, no, we can't. No, because we can just three war gamers and one cup. Three war gamers. <laughs> Three four gamers, one card. That's not nice. That's not nice at all. Do you know why we're here? We should try a challenge of some sort as well. I think so. Uh, like the I don't cinnamon, like the sound of this. Like the cinnamon challenge or something like that. Oh, I don't that know why be... you're looking at me, you guys. <laughs> no, I think we'd be really you afterwards. Remember, uh, I'm driving. You are driving, that is true. Your life's in what about the Oregano yeah. challenge? What's the Oregano challenge? I don't know. Just no. make <laughs> or the Oregano. 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 Oh, oregano, yeah. Oregano. Okay, or uh, what about the uh, jam cake? Uh, sponge cake challenge where you have to eat a whole sponge cake like or, or, or yeah, that, uh, the bacon sandwich one. challenge where that's you have to eat a bacon sandwich. That. That's really hard to do. No, no, I can't do it. I don't want to have a bacon sandwich. Um, so, um, not what else? Not on camera where there's any evidence. No, not on camera, no, because I'm not allowed to eat bacon sandwiches at the moment or any unhealthy crap. I swore on my camera. Uh, I do apologise. It's not big and it's not clever. Um, it's fun. It is fun. Yeah. Um, so, you're playing... Uh, in the campaign, Fulgrim. Yes. Um, the Emperor's Children. How have you progressed with your army and what are you building on so far? Um, I'm not going to lie. Knowing that you've only got next month to get everything ready, boy. So I've got, I've got a few ideas of where I want to go, but 
I've got quite a large army already. I mean, I think yeah. it's about four, four and a half thousand points anyway. Yeah. So uh, I want to add some. Um, I've got some thanks to uh, Chuffy. I've got some apothecaries that I want to add in to nice. the squads and stuff. Um, and I've got another ten tactical marines to do, but I'm hoping to get a little bit more armor yeah. and maybe uh, some assault marines or something like that. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I've got something for you which I forgot to bring up with me. Yeah. Again. Again. Well, I've got some bases to bring up for you, but I've also got this. Uh, no, I actually thought I put it in my pocket, and that's the really annoying Ooh. thing. Is this morning I had just quickly I'll spin it round. This morning, for the second time uh, in a matter of four days, five Ooh. days, is it? My cat decided to jump off the shelf and smash my Reaver Titan and landed on my Reaver Titan, so I had to then repair it all. Uh, so and the cat. That cat must have high stats to destroy a tiny one. I tell you what, yeah, in one go, it Pretty just literally, it literally <laughs> smashed destroy the top off. Uh, <laughs> and the gun and the guys inside all popped out, and I had to glue it all back together again. Oh, but it's going to be one of those things where I'm going to have to pin it next time because yeah. it just won't take it anymore. So I had to move my titans onto the top of my um, cabinet where I store my minis. It's one hell of a deep strike mishap. It it is. It's a massive deep strike mishap, isn't it? I'm not happy about that. Um, well, it just scares me seeing something that expensive that high. Oh, you know, just like a little. Yeah, I know. Oh. I know. I don't like it, but for now, that's where it's got to go. Um, right, so we're going to enjoy our cups of tea. Um, so let's kiff case. See you later. Well, we'll see you on the journey home. Well, yeah. Just in case we've got something to say. Uh, Tris Bello. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll see you guys later on. Take care. So just quickly, we're just jumping back onto this video before we leave because you've got to see this this dog's tongue. Let me just put my hand. Look at that, oh, there it is, it's the black one. Marjorie. Look at the size of that tongue. Go on in, stick it out, go on in, in, in. No, no, I'm getting attacked Marge. by both. Marge, sit. Right, hold on, hold on. pick her up. I can't pick her up, she'll fall over. <laughs> no, I can't get hold of it, but let's lift, lift her. Come on in, come on in, come on in. No, not Marge, Marge, stay. I want to see the black tongue. There we go. Hold on, look at the size of that! That is giant! It's like it starts at the back of its arse and comes out of its head. It's that long. It's massive. Wow. Okay, well, I'll see you guys later. See you later. Hi guys, how are you doing? So we've just left Tris's place. I've got to say, we were there for like a good three hours. Oh yeah. Maybe longer. That was fantastic. Got, what, 11? Yeah, yeah, it's just after two now. So yeah, it was a fantastic uh, afternoon. So flipping funny. Um, I had a good time. You had a good time? Yeah, very good time. I've got to say, he's a very approachable guy. Um, I mean, uh, he's going to have a fantastic painting studio. He's going to build up a beautiful reputation for himself uh, as a great painter and uh, very, very approachable. Um, so, yeah, it was a great day. Uh, I'm absolutely shattered through laughing a lot. Uh, we're mostly talking about films and stuff like that, weren't we? Yeah. And all sorts of bits and pieces and just general community and giggles okay. and stuff like bit that. A bit of a grumpy war game this session. And a bit of a grumpy war, it should have been a grumpy war game um, video, we should have done that. Um, so we're on our way back now, um, battling the uh, the blizzard. What blizzard you're saying? Well there isn't one really. Okay guys, well listen, it's goodbye from me and uh, goodbye from my man Kev over there. Your chauffeur. Oh my chauffeur. Uh, so listen guys, take care of yourself, we'll see you soon. And uh, this is vlog number three, out.